I found some very interesting research related to how potassium can influence how much calcium builds up in your arteries. It's actually quite fascinating. Now, one of the best tests to determine if you have calcium in your arteries is a CAC test, a coronary artery calcification test. And that test is probably one of the best predictors of overall mortality, not just from heart attacks, but from overall mortality. So this study that I just reviewed showed for the first time that low dietary potassium promotes vascular calcification and aortic stiffness, as well as thickness within the coronary arteries. Now, I will say this study was on mice, so if your mice start developing high blood pressure, you definitely need to apply this information. Now, this is huge because so many people do not get the amount of potassium they need. They, in fact, they don't even know how much they need. They need a lot. An average person needs about 4,700 milligrams every single day. So to get that, they're going to have to consume a good amount of dietary potassium. If you don't know what that is, I put a link down below for more information on how to get your potassium from your diet. But the question is why? Why does calcium deposit on your arteries if you are low in potassium? And this is the reason. These two electrolytes, potassium and calcium, work together. When you're low in potassium, calcium tends to build up on the inside of the cell. Now, this is quite important information simply because the number one cause of death is heart attack. And so if a person is getting high blood pressure, they need to start looking at potassium. If you take a look at like uh, calcium channel blockers, which is one of the medications that they use for high blood pressure, the mechanics of that drug is basically lowering calcium. But what if they increase potassium? Well, I have found in practice the patients who do more potassium do much better with their blood pressure. More potassium, less blood pressure. Also, when you take vitamin D, your blood pressure can come down. I think a lack of potassium is part of the problem. Another problem is inflammation in your arteries because in order for that calcium to start depositing on the inside of the artery, you first have to have inflammation. And that usually comes from some type of oxidation in combination with low antioxidants, like low amounts of vitamin D, low vitamin C, which occur from consuming too much refined flour products. And then if you combine too much sugar, which is gonna create oxidation, you're gonna get the perfect storm because you're gonna get, number one, inflammation that is gonna start the whole process and the calcium coming in as a Band-Aid and the fact that when you're eating sugar and refined carbohydrates, you're depleting your potassium, you're depleting your vitamin E and your vitamin C. So it's the perfect storm. And so we have this combination um, related to heart disease. We have low potassium, we have low antioxidants coming from eating the wrong things in your diet, and also a lack of vitamin D, which can act as an anti-inflammatory. Vitamin D3 works with vitamin K2 and also mobilizing that calcium to make sure that it stays in the bone and out of the arteries. So anyway, I wanted to talk about the importance of potassium in preventing arterial stiffness as well as calcification building up in your arteries. Very, very interesting. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.